In his opinion ruling, federal judge Roger Vinson said that ruling the health care law unconstitutional is the, quote, functional equivalent to an injunction against the law. Assistant Majority Leader Dick Durbin was asked if the Obama administration should obey the federal court and stop enforcing the health care law. Do you think the administration should stop implementing uh, Obamacare given his ruling that the law is unconstitutional? Personally, I don't because the judge was asked for an injunction and he didn't, he didn't rule that there would be one. So he hasn't enjoined any conduct or activity. Uh, at this point, we have 16 courts that have considered this case. Twelve of them have dismissed the, the complaint initially on procedural grounds. Of the four courts that took up the substance of the uh, Affordable Health Care Act, which you call Obama, Obamacare, uh, they split. Two said it was constitutional, two said it was not. And Vincent in Florida, Judge Vincent, uh, Monday, had a chance to not only decide whether it's constitutional, but to issue an injunction. He didn't do that. So you think in the meantime the Obama administration should continue implementing the law? Oh, absolutely. I mean, if you were saying to me at this point, oh, should we allow health insurance companies to discriminate against people because of pre-existing conditions? No. I mean, ultimately, I hope we never uh, remove that provision, but I'm going to wait on the Supreme Court. I think that's where the decision ultimately has to be made. Given this situation, what about average Americans and federal court orders in their situation? Should they look at a federal court order and say, well, I can just continue doing no, but what I do. Make sure you get this clear. There is no federal court order from Florida enjoining anyone from complying with the provisions of this law. The judge ruled he thought it was unconstitutional, but I think he understood as we do that it's now going to go to a higher level court. And in history, the Social Security Act was found unconstitutional by a lower court. The minimum wage law was found unconstitutional by a lower court. The Civil Rights Act was found unconstitutional by a lower court. Ultimately, the Supreme Court ruled in all three instances those laws were constitutional. And what part of the Constitution do you think gives Congress the authority to require individuals to purchase health insurance? Article 1, Section 8, the Commerce Clause. And I think it's clear. It is a necessary and proper uh, application of an enumerated congressional power. And make no mistake, the people who want to uh, escape their, their personal responsibility to buy health insurance, many of them will one day get sick and show up at the hospital and be treated. And their costs will be passed on to other responsible Americans who stand up and buy insurance to cover themselves and their families. That kind of personal responsibility, I think, uh, reflects what most conservatives used to say is part of our uh, civic responsibility. Now they seem to be arguing the opposite point now. Nicholas Ballacy, CNSNews.com, The Capitol.